The fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing black with orange trim, he weighed in at an official 214 and one quarter pounds. He enters the ring in his fifth professional bout and as one of the most highly touted fighters in the heavyweight division with an undefeated record of four victories. Three of those victories coming by way of KO. Fighting out of South Philadelphia, PA, Sonny, the Bronco Canto. Across the ring in the red corner, wearing black with gold trim, he weighed in at an official 201 and three quarter pounds and his 11th pro bout with a record of five victories against five losses, two of those victories coming by way of knockout from La Rose, Louisiana, the Lion King, Stephen Lyon. Okay, hey, gentlemen, you already know the rules. I want to remind you to keep it clean, protect yourself at all times, and obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. All right, little heavyweight action. Four rounds. Special attraction here for the fans. Funny contour, as you Lupe mentioned, is from South Philadelphia, and as we talked about earlier, too, has developed himself a nice fan base here at home supported him each and every time. He's fought once in Vegas, three times in Philadelphia. Manager David McWater knows exactly what he's doing with Sonny. Sonny in the black and orange trunks getting ready for Halloween here. His opponent in the black and gold, Stephen Lyons. As I mentioned, 30 years old, 5'5 five, five and 2 out of Louisiana. Sonny 4-0 with three knockouts. He starts with that left hook. Sonny's got good size for the heavyweight division and still only 23 years old at 6'4 with a 79 inch reach. As he's got his opponent Lions already up against the ropes. Consistently impressed with Sonny Hunter's hand speed at heavyweight. He's quick handed, he's athletic. You mentioned his size, he's got great height and, and reach, but he definitely needs to fill in a little bit more to be a true heavyweight. Yeah, and I think that's. You know, at 23 years old, he, he has some time for that, so that's on his side. And that experience that we talked about being able to spar with Tyson Fury and who brought Pulev and these veterans in the game has really helped him, he said. And they teach him things, and Tyson Fury has really become like a mentor to him, a big brother. He said, he's, the, he's, he's now, but I'm next. He wants to take up the next class of heavyweights. Oh, that strong jab pops the head back of Stephen Lyons. Again. Lyons flat on his feet, lunging forward with that left hand. And Sonny, again, finds a home for the left hand. You'd think Lyons would start to pick up that right hand a little bit. Everything that Hunter is trying is working. Jabs, lead hooks. Oh, check hooks. Williams has always been matched tough outside of his pro debut. Only fought guys that have had a winning record, and nine or six of the nine opponents have been undefeated. As Sonny starts to unleash a little more with his opponent on the ropes, Lions have not had an easy path here. Sonny working the body, two left hands downstairs, and brought it right back up top. Strong jab once again by Sonny Kanto. Very poised opening round for, for Sonny Kanto. I like that he was consistent with his jab. He flashed some of that hand speed. He tried to get to the body a little bit. Not too much success, but... 
believe that he, uh, he did some nice solid work in that round. Steven Lyons is a he's a he's a big, long, kind of awkward guy. Throws punches from strange angles, leaps a, leaps in a little bit. So I think uh, Hansu needs to just keep doing what he's doing, use that jab, break him down, try and get to his body. Steven Lyons' last win was in January. It was a upset win, if you will, against Jonathan Foreman, who is the nephew of former heavyweight world champion George Foreman. Uh, he got a fifth round TKO victory in a fight that, you know, Foreman was undefeated, and the corner has stopped the fight. Steven Lyons has decided to not come off the stool for the second round, and Sonny Conto has win number five in his young professional career. Much the delight of the hometown fans here, South Philly's given him an ovation and I think that just everything that Sonny did in that round was effective and landed and apparently Stephen Lyons didn't want any more. Yeah, I think um, he, he mentions, it seemed like he was talking about maybe his teeth or his jaw um, Steve Lyons in the corner while he was sitting. here going to the body, going back upstairs, putting a lot of pressure on, on, uh, on Lions at the end of that round. He landed pretty much every jab that he threw. He did some nice body work in that round. And hard jabs. Every jab he landed was, was very solid. Nothing Lions did that. I'm going to go up in the ring and we're going to let you guys hear from Sonny Conto in a minute as soon as we get the official decision here from Lupe Contreras. So stick with us. Ladies and gentlemen, under the advice of the ringside physician, referee Eric Dali, calls a halt to this bout following the conclusion of round number one, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, the Bronco, Sonny Canto. Great performance there, good win for Sonny Kanto. Didn't get a lot of rounds in, didn't get a lot of time, but um, I think he showed some, some good poise. Flashing that fast jab to the delight of the Philadelphia and pro Kanto crowd. See some work here along the ropes from, from Sonny. Great body work on the inside, doubling up the left hook to the body, and then coming back with the left hook upstairs. Mixed up his punch as well. Showed good defense. And now we have Christina Poncher interviewing the victorious Sonny Hansen in the ring. All right. You got those gloves off? <laughs> Joined now by Sonny the Bronco Conto. I know you brought a lot of people out here to see you tonight. I figured we'd let them hear for you. Uh, another win for you, 5-0 and oh now. He retires on the stool, doesn't come out for the second round. Your jabs seem to be working very well. You threw some good body shots. How did you see yourself in this fight? Uh, other than Tyson Fury, I think I have the best heavyweight jab. But, uh, yeah, you know, I hear, I hear Tyson, use your feints, use your feints. Because he, he utilizes his feints like crazy. Like, that's like my man, you know? Like, thank you, Tyson, for walking me out. I appreciate that. Yeah, Tyson Fury joined you on your ring walk. Give it up for Tyson Fury, Lineal. How you doing? WWE superstar now. <laughs> but honestly, Sonny, how has being in the gym, at the top-ranked gym, 